And earlier tonight, Donald Rumsfeld, former uh, defense secretary, said this to Bill O'Reilly on Fox. Here it is. People are equating waterboarding with torture. And I think that's a mistake. Uh, the, the President of the United States authorized the waterboarding. It was done to three people by the CIA, not by the military, and it produced an enormous amount of very, very valuable intelligence information. It, it just amazes me how former Bush administration officials are out on the beaten path on the cables just saying it just did everything for the country. Your thoughts on that? Well, my former boss, Colin Powell, recently said that Donald Rumsfeld was delusional and deceptive and he could prove both points. My former boss is right. And on this issue, Donald Rumsfeld is more delusional than deceptive probably than any other. Um, first of all, his last statement about hordes of intelligence is preposterous. It didn't produce hordes of intelligence. In fact, I never saw any raw intelligence past my desk that came from such things that was actionable, that really led to any uh, circumstance at all that produced a, a result that was positive. Secondly, Donald Rumsfeld only has as knowledge what his bureaucracy gave him. And the, he, knew, he wasn't there. He wasn't at the site. Multiple tiers of bureaucracy gave him the information that he has. And he made damn sure that that bureaucracy was sycophant. Yes men, yes women. He made sure that the people working for him told him what he wanted to hear. So one has to expect that Donald Rumsfeld heard what he just said, and that was that actionable intelligence was produced by these procedures. It's so preposterous. And let me say one last thing. As Christopher Hitchens said, after he was actually waterboarded, this is torture, changing his view. Let me waterboard Donald Rumsfeld, and then we'll see if he says it's torture or not. Why do you think Rumsfeld is doing this? Is he acting? He's got to. He's got to cover his rear end. I mean, there are cases in foreign countries right now being worked by lawyers there. One in Switzerland actually kept President George Bush from visiting Switzerland that will, under international auspices, bring cases against Cheney, Rumsfeld, Fife, Addington, et al. These people don't dare re resort to anything other than defending their positions because ultimately, in the f even within their lifetimes, they may be subject to litigation. I will predict that, as I've said many times before, they will not travel except perhaps to Israel and Saudi Arabia. Those will be the only two countries Cheney, Rumsfeld, and others will travel to. Lawrence Wilkerson, Colonel, we'd love to have you on the program. You do tell it like it is. I appreciate your time tonight. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.